Okay, after this, I promise I have to go get in the shower and get ready to go to class. I told myself I wasn't going, but then I was like, you really need to go. Not to mention I had this girl in my class earrings here, and I need to take them because they can't keep sitting in my room. So, anyway, I just wanted to just, like, come and discuss. I don't know if you guys are, how many of you guys are local here with me in Cleveland or whatever, or the surrounding areas and know what's been going on as of lately. But I'm convinced that Cleveland is becoming, I don't know where we sit on, like, one of the most, violent crime related cities in the United States, but we must be quickly rising because um, if you guys have watched the news, I don't know if it made national news, but as of maybe 24 or 48 hours ago, there was a three-year-old young boy who went missing and they found him last night, I want to say, or yesterday morning, something like that, in a trash bag dead in the landfill like in Oakwood Village or something like that. So, and then there were allegations that his mother is the person who indeed killed him, but she reported him missing. Something like the Casey, Casey Anthony tri trial or case, same scenario, but with black people. And then come to find out there was a shooting on the public RTA bus, same bus with the, you know, you going to jail now, you going to jail, boom, that same bus, well, it wasn't the same bus, but, it was the same, you know, RTA. And just random acts of violence. I'm trying to figure out what's really going on because when I was young, I don't know if this just came around or if all this crazy violent behavior is just starting to happen with the, the you know, technology and Twitter and shit. I blame Twitter. I really do. I just want to blame Twitter on everything or blame Twitter for almost anything that goes wrong. I blame Twitter for but when I was younger, we didn't have, like, this shit didn't happen. Like, you don't see people being, little kids being killed. Look, three-year-old, three years old being killed by their mother and then just thrown in a trash bag like this fucking baby doll that head fell off. And people shooting on buses, on the bus, the bus that's moving, not shooting, like, at the bus. Now, that's a different story. Because down on Huff, and I heard it happened on 105, so that really didn't help the situation. So maybe just like outside the bus shooting, but you had the nerve to get on the bus and open fire. Something is wrong. I don't know if it's a generational gap or something, but like I said, this stuff didn't happen when I was young. Like, it just start. it had to just start when I got into like, whenever maybe I was 14, 15. That's when I went to high school, and I, was, I went to high school when I was 13. Yeah. Was it 13? No, I just turned 14. Something like that. So, it had it around 2004-ish. That's when it just started going downhill. But before then, you didn't hear about stuff like this. There was like, everybody was like, it was like the token place to be. It was nice and thriving, you know. People was, everybody loved each other on the block. And I think it had something to do with parents. Because, you know, parents are getting younger. And, you know... People are becoming grandparents at 30, which I'm trying to figure out how it's genetically possible, but apparently it happens. And it's just like somebody ain't doing something right. And I'm not sure where it's going wrong, but it's wrong as fuck at this point when you have a three-year-old being found dead in a trash bag just thrown away like he's garbage. Like, that's, that, was just, that just blew me to the core. I was like... And I don't like kids, but that, I saw, I, I think, like, my nephew, had it been him, or had it been my little cousin, or something like that, then that's when I have a sentimental feeling towards it. But other than that, you know, I can't stand kids. But even then, if it wasn't, you still have to think, like, what the fuck is wrong with the world? Well, people just, like, completely heartless. Like, there's no... There's no morals or values anymore. Like, people just don't give a fuck. Like, am I missing something? Like, was I not raised right? Because I've never shot a gun in my life. I've never even seen a goddamn gun, let alone used one. So, I just don't know. I just need, we need to, I don't know, if we need to get Iyana Van Zandt to come and fix all of Cleveland's life. If maybe I should tweet this video to her, dear Ivana Van Zandt or Iyana, 
I can never say her name right unless I'm like slightly intoxicated. Then I, it just rolls right off my tongue when I'm slightly intoxicated. But Yalina, Yalina, Van girl, you, Oprah, Stemmen, y'all need to come on over and fix our lives because clearly something is going awry here in Cleveland. I don't know what it is, but something is going all types of wrong. And I'm not sure what it is, but maybe y'all can figure it out. So, um,. Pray for that family because actually that family is pretty close to my, well, not my family in general, but my best friend. Her aunt is a step, is not stepmother, a uh, foster parent. And her foster child was the mother of the little boy who was found. So she's like at home all tore up because they knew the little boy. I didn't know him personally, unfortunately, but um, yeah, that's just that. I just wanted to come and discuss that though. So. I love you guys. I'm going to get dressed and get ready to go to school so I can get up out of this crazy city eventually. All right, y'all. Peace.